what we see sometimes, because we, we work in the world of B2C and B2B, but we start to see it in B2B as well, that there is, especially in the world of growth, we fall prey to short-termism. Let me explain it for two seconds. Uh, you know, I feel that the world of growth and marketing and sometimes product has an ADHD problem. Even in B2B, we get bored easily and we have shiny new object syndrome, difficult initiatives that are harder to implement that require more deep work. And, and that's where you're really a hero, uh, I think, uh, is, is also on systemizing things, building these engines, building these uh, systems. Because in the areas of customer acquisition, you know, there's big, long marathons, as we like to call them, like SEO, building a content powerhouse, community building that gives sort of long-term return on uh, investment or deeper in the funnel, the wonderful world of product-led growth, you know, actually doing your user research, building systems rather than just campaigns or, or stuff. That old adage that we've been throwing around a lot, experiment fast and double down on what works. Typically, we completely forget to double down on what actually uh, works. And many teams and people in growth tend to forget on the double down part. Do you, because that requires traits of self-control, business process management, system creation, that we just don't get into growth for. We get into growth because it's exciting, it's new, there's lots of new tools, bells and whistles. Um, do you see that as well? And is that, do you agree with this? Or how does one solve this CAC CLTV issue? Is it simply, yep. yeah. So to solve the CAC to LTV issue and the high growth rate expectation, you need a couple of things. One, as you said, you need to go over the ADHD problem. You need to have like some long-term thinking. You need to think today, this is what I'm capable of bringing. What will scale 5X one year from now? What is the depth of each of those strategies? I always think in like performance versus depth. For example, I'm just going to take a random example. Let's say that you found a great way to acquire users through uh, Reddit ads. Good for you. You find a good Reddit community that's just really relevant for your product, maybe analytics or whatever, right? Great CAC because there's little competition, so very high performance. The truth is there's also very little depth, right? The inventory of that, uh, of that audience on Reddit is just super shallow, okay? So it's not going to scale 5x. So you have two ways. Are you going to just like stack hundreds of those things, one behind the other, right? Or you're going to find something that has a lot of depth, okay? So when I think of like long-term planning, I think like that. Okay. The second strategy is you need to find um, campaigns or strategies say, that, are, um, that have a, a CAC uh, efficiency as it scales. Okay. Generally, CAC increases as you scale, right? As you get to the uh, easy audiences and you pluck the, let's say, the ripe fruits from the tree, all right? Uh, and then those audiences have converted. You just increase the size of the audience and you increase. Whether that's paid or that's SEO, whatever, right? You just go broader and broader and broader, right? And, and same is also true for outbound emails, right? You go from very focused to less focused. So the performance goes down, which means your CAC goes up, okay? So the problem is that most... Uh, marketing, growth marketing strategies have an, a negative, let's say, CAC scaling effect. What you need to do is to find and build strategies that have a positive CAC scaling effect. The more people come in, the cheaper it becomes. And that's where, if you want to take a step back and you want to talk about marketing versus growth marketing, here's, here's let's say, my approach to it. Marketing has a low, let's say, upfront cost, right? You're just building a campaign and has a high running cost, right? Running the campaign has yeah. cost, whether that's like displaying ads or doing events, whatnot, okay? Growth marketing is the opposite. You're building with engineering and humans and whatnot, a, a quasi product, okay? Uh, that will deliver value to uh, push the people, incentivize the people, the audience to come to you. But that investment is upfront. The more people go through this product, right? Uh, the cheaper the cost per customer becomes. Okay, so you you have now a a, a positive scaling uh, incentive. Does that make sense? Yeah, it sounds a lot, Guillaume, like compound interest rates. Actually, when uh, when you describe it like this, um, you know, compounding, which is I think considered by physicists as one of the most powerful forces in the universe, and our brains have sort of and finance folks and finance folks, <laughs> financial right, Co compound interest. Yeah. Um, so I think it's interesting maybe to talk about it, this sort of long-termism and this compounding, very, basically put compounding returns are returns that grow increasingly rapidly every time you add a unit. And I think it's 
the formula was like future value equals present value times one plus mm -hmm. I to the power of yeah. N and yeah. I is the interest rate and N is the yeah. number of years, let's say. So it's exponential as opposed to linear. Mm -hmm. So, and we talked about depth a little and, bit. And, and just also like, Exponential growth is something that I hope you all have learned in 2020 with what's happened to all of us. So you mean the viral effects? You want to go yes. into that a little bit? Yes. Okay. No, just, that's just like, if you want, if you want to see viral, like exponential growth, like COVID-19 is, vi is viral. It is like exponential, right? It's just yeah. that instead of like being yearly growth, it's daily growth. Exactly. And, uh, oh, by the way, it's the one year anniversary of the World Health Organization declaring uh, <laughs> COVID mm -hmm, today. Mm -hmm. So we're only allowed to announce, to mention COVID once. And, uh, it's done. We're done. Over. Yeah. Done. We're, we're over. Moving on. Um, okay. So that's interesting. So the idea is a little bit, don't forget to systemize, operationalize, and look for depth. Is look depth for depth, look for uh, decreasing CAC and upfronting your costs. Okay. And, and the, the other thing I want to share is, as marketers become stressed and have budget and they just pull budget, they, uh, they start doing more and more stupid things, uh, which is just putting more and more pressure and incre increasing, let's say, the, the uh, advertising, ad on email, whatever pressure on the audience, but not delivering value. And that, I think, is one of the key mistakes. And that's where like, people like me can try and help, which is by... Uh, creating strategies and growth campaigns that deliver real value yep. to the audience, true value, something that is helpful and not talking about you and your product, but try to help your future customer, right? Yep. Try to really help them. That's what works.